Well, we'll have more details on all three shootings coming up, but we're going to begin with the tragic situation that happened on Squires Woodsway. We're learning more details this morning about a man charged with murder, rape, and kidnapping in that case. Those charges follow a standoff that lasted all night Tuesday into Wednesday morning. ABC 36's Ryan Schmelz here in the studio with the latest on that suspect. Good morning, Ryan. Good morning. The brutal charges against Morgan Johnson are hard to make sense of, who, by all accounts, seems like an average 21 year old. A warning to our viewers the details in this case are disturbing as Johnson sits behind bars for killing one person and raping another. Police say this man, Morgan Johnson, began his night of terror by kidnapping an unnamed woman believed to be his girlfriend. We believe it was a domestic situation. Um, they all knew each other. According to a criminal complaint, Johnson took the woman to a home on Squires Woods Way and, quote, engaged in sexual intercourse by using force. When officers arrived, they observed a male uh, victim lying on the front porch of the residence um, with an apparent gunshot wound. That victim was 19-year-old Christopher Spencer, shot and killed by Johnson. After several hours of negotiations with the suspect, they were able to negotiate him coming out and the female was released and he was taken into custody. The woman was later released with no major injuries and Johnson's motive is still a mystery. So we're still um, talking to him, going to be in communications with him beyond why he did that. We aren't sure what Spencer's exact relationship was with Johnson and the victim, but a quick search of Johnson's Facebook page shows what seems to be an average kid with a job at a local restaurant. Doug Cady, back to you at the desk. Thank you, Ryan. Police have also made an arrest in connection to that shooting we